Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how we glaze our little monster pot. Um, so you're going to have two options. You can glaze it or you can do an oil pastel technique. First I'm going to show you glazing. So glazing will make your pot come out shiny like this one. This is glazed. Okay. What I want you to notice with this, you do not glaze the bottom because that will stick inside the kiln. So we don't do that. So leave your bottom just plain old clay. Okay. But you can glaze the outside and you can glaze the inside. All right, so you're just going to treat this really like painting. You're going to dip your brush into the glaze and you are going to paint where you want that color. Remember, do not paint the bottom. Um, so I know I want to leave my teeth on this guy white, so I'm not going to paint the teeth, but that means here I need to be super, super careful not to get the glaze onto the teeth you're going to want to do two to three coats. So that means I'm going to paint this once, let it dry, paint over it again, let it dry. If I have time, paint it a third time. That just guarantees you're going to get a nice bright color once it is out of the kiln. So I'm just going to do one entire coat around first, then go back and do my other ones just to keep track of where I am. Some kids lose track and they're like, wait, is that coat one or coat two? I don't remember. Just do the whole thing once and then go back and do the whole thing again. Now, if you get little, um, if there's little like grooves or cracks, you want to try to get the tippy toe of your brush into those little grooves and cracks. Anything that you leave, um, just regular clay, you don't put any glaze on, it's going to stay that way. The glaze doesn't magically spread out or anything like that once it's fired. Fill up anything you want colored. You know it's dry when it starts to look kind of like chalk. All right, so you also want to glaze the inside of your pot. Now the inside's gonna be a little tricky because it could be very thin. So you just wanna try your best there. Try to get into your little cracks. If you can't get into all of them, then that is what it is, you know? So you can glaze the bottom of the inside of your pot. You just can't glaze the outside bottom. The inside is fine though. Okay, so I have painted a lot of my clay monsters so far. Um, so basically you just want to think of it like paint. Rinse your colors or rinse your brush before you switch colors. So now I'm moving on to the eyes. I'm painting the eyes white. now. Okay, so this is how your monster will look once it's all fired. You can tell the blue changed into a much darker blue. It is now shiny. I still have the plain bottom there. This is what it will look like. This is glaze. So next I will teach you another technique um, that isn't glaze, but it gives a little different effect. Okay, so today I'm going to teach you how we um, color our monster using something a little different. We're not going to use glaze. So on this monster right here, I have glaze. So this is shiny. And this monster here is oil pastel and paint. So I'm going to demonstrate this one right here. So this gives a little more rough of an effect. I love this look a whole bunch. So I'm going to show you that. Either one, you can choose either one. I'm going to use oil pastels to begin with. And when you do this, you are going to color directly onto the clay. Now, you want to color as well as you can. Try to fill in as much as you can. If you do this, that's not going to look um, really that great when we're all finished. So if you see the difference between these two, this one I'm pressing a little harder, I'm trying to fill in more of the white spaces, and that's what you want to do. It will get tricky, especially around like the other forms that you built, so around these eyes. Just go really, really slow. And the beauty of this technique is it's kind of rough, um, kind of rough looking. I really like the look of it, but so if you get a little bit on another shape, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but just try your best to keep the colors separate. 
and you will have trouble like I can't fit my oil pastel into some of the shapes because the oil pastel is so large and that's okay just fit it where you can fit it because we'll do a step after this that will take care of all those spots that we missed Okay, so for the inside, if you want to color just the top a little bit, it's going to be hard to color in the whole inside with your oil pastel, so I'm not even going to bother with it. I'm just going to worry about the outside. Um, now I'm going to do the eyes, so I'm doing my eyes white. Now white's going to be the trickiest because it's the hardest to tell the difference because your clay is white. So just make sure you give it a good coat, like maybe more than you think you need to with the white all around the shape, the sides as well, as much as you can. Don't just focus on the top part. And if you want to, you can go ahead and color your bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Okay, so I have the majority of my pot covered in oil pastel, so next we're going to use some paint to fill in all these gaps. Okay, so now that we have colored everything, you're going to get some paint, and a darker color is best, so I like to use black, blue, or violet. And you are going to paint directly over everything you just colored. And this part, you do want to make sure you get in to all these little cracks. So get up near, like the eyeball, Everywhere your oil pastel could not fit, you gotta make sure this paint does fit. Okay, now this paint dries pretty quick. So use kind of the corner of your brush to dig into some of those weird little areas. And you wanna kind of do this in two steps. So I'm gonna do the front of my monster, and I'm not gonna to touch the back of it yet. Okay, so I painted the front. I left the back, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the sink and I'm gonna gently run a stream of water over it and I'm gonna wipe off some of this paint and you'll kinda of see what the technique is once I'm finished. Okay, so you can see here the black sunk into all those little areas that I could not reach with my oil pastel around the eyes and all these little cracks. And it gives this kinda of just rough look which I think looks really cool especially because it's a monster and monsters can kind of look a little rough so the reason we do only the first half is because the paint dries so fast if you don't get it wiped off in time the paint just stays on there um, so now you can do the back same thing just cover it all up and then give it a gentle rinse and you can go ahead and paint the bottom if you would like to. And you can paint the inside. The inside, um, you're not going to rinse away. If you don't want to paint the inside, you don't have to. You can just leave it natural clay. Um, but if you notice that painting the inside is taking you too long, then go ahead and rinse off the back before that dries on you then go back and paint the inside. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna go rinse the back now. All right, so I rinsed it off, so now I'm just gonna go back and continue painting the inside so it's nice and smooth color, and then I'll be good to go. Now, when you go to rinse back at the sink, all I'm really doing is I'm running it under the water and I'm kind of doing this with my thumb, kind of just wiping away the paint. Okay, and I don't do it too much. As soon as I get most of it away and I see the nice color coming through again, then I just let it go. Because you can wipe it too much and then it just goes away completely and that defeats the purpose. All right, so this is how you would do oil pastel and paint on clay. You have a beautiful monster.